So here's a very quick tutorial on how to create a flowchart in Figma. Um, there's all sorts of pl uh, plugins and components out there that you can download for flowcharts. Uh, personally, I think they're all um, a little bit heavyweight. Um, I use two things. I just use the basics of frames, um, frames and auto layout. Uh, and I also use one plugin called Auto Flow, uh, which I'll show you what I do here. So first things first, you just press F and that lets you create a frame. And I'm gonna put some text in here. Hello. Um, and, and what I can do is I can select the frame and I can add an auto layout. And so I set up this auto layout so that way it's gonna hug the contents. Um, and so that means if I edit the text, then it's going to change the size of the frame accordingly. So from there, all you need to do is just duplicate the frame, um, which you can do by right clicking it and copy paste. Uh, yeah, you can just press command C and then you can copy paste it wherever you want. Um, and then when you turn on uh, auto flow, uh, which I'm gonna do by pr pressing command forward slash, uh, you can also just open up uh, here and click on this hamburger and it's going to open up uh, the search bar, but I'm just gonna search for auto flow, press enter. And then when I click on two frames uh, while holding shift, it's going to create a line between them and that's going to automatically update um, how it's looking based on you know where I position the different components or the different frames. If you want to get a little fancy with it um, you can make it so this frame is a component um, so I'm going to right click create component and then that just means when you duplicate it, uh, when you duplicate it, then it's just going to make it so if you update this one, this original component, then it's going to update all of the future ones. Um, that can be useful for some people. If you wanna have uh, shapes other than rectangles here, uh, you're a little bit limited with the approach that I just described just because um, just because I'm using frames here, uh, which are always going to be rectangular. But what you can do is you can uh, change, uh, you can click here and change the number here so I could make it have really rounded edges, you know, or I could uh, rotate it too. So like if you want to have, uh, diamonds, you can just have a square <laughs> that you rotate, you know, and then um, you just rotate the text as well. Yeah. And again, yeah, from, from here, it's really quite simple. Just use the copy paste feature liberally, shift click uh, between items, and you're going to create your lines as you want. And voila, flowcharts in Figma, easy peasy. Um, real quick, just wanted to add one more reason why you might want to make all of these components instead of just having them as frames that you copy paste. Um, it's just so that way you can go from like the layers screen here and you can move over to assets and you're only going to see the components, you know, so it's like this itself can get uh, quite busy. So let me just copy paste that and have another one all that and you know so there's going to be a lot of things here but if you have them as components then you have them as just assets so like oh i want to use a diamond right now so i'm just going to copy paste here or oh i want to use a square right now uh, so, oh, you can actually just drag and drop them from there. Um, so really you can create your own toolbar of shapes for yourself. One more tip uh, that I wanna show you that 
Nick Milo just showed me is that I can option drag uh, to have multiple elements. So like I can just click on something, option drag, and it's going to create a new one. Let's actually just see real quick how that's represented in there. Um, looks like it still links back to the original component. So um, that's really nice there. And so from there, all you need to do is you open up Autoflow, uh, you select two items. Um, you connect them. And it really works out quite nicely and fluidly. So I'm just gonna make a new one here with option drag. And then I'm going to use auto flow to connect them. It's a uh, Figma suddenly becomes a really powerful flow chart tool. So I real quick just wanted to show you how you can set it up. So that way you're only doing this once instead of creating these new components every time um, that you create a new uh, program that you wanna have a flow chart in. So I'm just gonna make a frame around this and I'm gonna fill it in gray so that way it's everything's still visible and I'm gonna name the frame components for flow charts. Now, what I can do is if I'm on a new file, like here I've got a new file and I wanna do a flow chart then all I have to do is open up my drafts, um, search for the name of the file that I have it in, tutorial for how to create flowcharts, uh, which I have open over here. And then you just copy paste into a new area and you have all of your flowchart components there and ready to go. If you have the professional plan, I think that this sort of stuff isn't necessary. I'm pretty sure you can just search um, for your components in this way but for the free version, this works.